welcome back to my channel and I have just arrived in the Lake District what a day, what a beautiful day absolutely gorgeous but it's a bank holiday weekend and it's glorious you know what that means it's busy so my objective again is to find solitude in the Lake District on a bank holiday weekend um, there's certainly no solitude on the car park but look at that wonderful wonderful but as you can see I've no I've no rucksack on and that is because I don't know where I'm camping tonight I'm gonna camp around here somewhere but I just don't know and I really like that when you set off you just you know an area that you're gonna be in but you know you don't know where you're gonna camp because it's a bit of an adventure I've been to this area before but I've never really spent much time in it um, and I thought being a bank holiday weekend I think this area is going to be quiet it's pretty much pretty out of the way during the day I mean the car park's busy so I'm expecting it to be busy as everywhere will be really I think during the day but at night I reckon everyone will go back So I've no rucksack on, I am camping, but I just thought I'd have a bit of a mooch. Um, saves me carrying my rucksack around. I'm just gonna have a little walk just up here. This is not gonna be an epic walk. I can't be, I can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, I'm just having a nice, quiet, chilled, easy one. That's the objective for this weekend. Um, I've done enough slogging my guts out. And I think my fitness recently seems to have uh, dropped off. Um, can't explain it, but uh, I felt like I needed a rest because I'd done that, that many big hikes last year. But then when you have a rest, your fitness drops off and it's, you've got to build it back up again. But it's just a cycle. I've done it plenty of times before and I'll do it again, I'm sure. So I'll shut up waffling on. And I'll just plod on. I'm just trying to have a look at this little peak here. See what we find. Oh, I've just been having to think about what I'm going to do. It's just windy. It's really windy. It must be 20 easy. Um, so I'm thinking, I've just had a look on. I've got an app called Footpath and it sort of plots, plots a route and tells you how far it is. So I'm thinking to head down, down there to the, the water and then somehow up along that ridge and up to the peak there which is the highest one in this area I can see a little uh, I call them titties just a little like trig point or a pile of stones or something on, on top of the summit and there's one there and there's another one there that, that's the highest in this area I think it's like 500 meters something like that so yeah I'm gonna go back to the car get my rucksack ready get it on and then head over that way and uh, should have nice views out to the sea from there and still be able to see that lot it's pretty good but yeah that wind I brought the solo I wasn't sure which tent to bring because I don't know what the terrain's like around here so I wanted to make sure I had a free sanding tent and it is forecast to be windy um, I didn't want to bring the Alak because I don't want to carry all that weight. So yeah, right, let's get back to the car. Right, we're all set. Got my. Uh, Sack it on now, and uh, everything's in it. I hope whatever uh, isn't in it, I have to manage without. <laughs> but um, I've just weighed it 15 kilos with that. That's with one and a half liters of water because my, my water filter is not working, so I've had to, I'm gonna have to carry water. One and a half liters of water, a bit of uh, other liquid, and um, what else is there? Or oh, some milk. Stopped on the way up, got some milk, and I saw the red label just picked it up. I thought red label was full cream milk but it's not it's bloody skim milk so it's, it's like water isn't it um so yeah 
Right, let's go. Well, that was really nice. I just got talking to a guy who watches my videos, and um, he's got a house in this area, so he's really familiar with the, the fells around here. So it was good to uh, chat to him and get some information. So Nigel, it was great to meet you, and uh, thanks for thanks for the info. Yeah, this beautiful spot around here. Look at that. So our plan is to head up there. Just looking at the skies and I think we're going to be all right but there is rain forecast for later um, so yeah just got to make the most of the nice weather while it's here it's quite warm actually once you get out of this breeze but when uh, when you get into the breeze it soon gets a bit cold but uh, never mind we'll uh, we'll plod on So I'm heading up the side of the fell now, gaining a bit of height. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely superb. Great gable there. But see the little island there? Just thinking back to, I think it was about June, July last year, me and Evie needed a camp on that island. We both filmed it. Evie and Evie edited her video up before I'd done mine. I watched her video back and I thought, I can't, it's so, it's so good, it's so much fun. I can't compete with that and I never even did a video. But uh, it was great fun, a great camp, really different. So check out Evie's channel, channel go, go Summit Solo and look out for a video on that island. I can't remember what the title was. I put it on the bottom of the screen, but it's a brilliant video, so much fun, it really is. Right, we've still got a bit to do yet. Up there. So here we are, a bit higher. And look at the views now. Look at that. That's something else, it really is. Wow. That round from that's core, which I've camped on core, right round to, well, where do you want? Sea Tower, whole panorama, absolutely sunny in that. But um, my thoughts are up there, see the little uh, titty on the top, and there's another one there. So I'm going to head in between and then up to that one, have a look at that, and then track back up there. But the views from here, just wow, great, really great. I can see right out to, the, I mean, this in the near distance is Sellafield. Beyond that, I think to Muller Galloway, Galloway Fells, Irish Sea, um, Isle of Man. Wow, yeah, wow. We're not even that high. I mean, this, I don't even think this is a mountain. In fact, I'm sure it's not. It's less than 610 meters, 2,000 feet. 
plod on that way, go and see what, uh, what's up there. On there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go that far. I'll try to stop looking at these. I mean, it's not far, but it's not far. Wow. I'm not sure what the height is here. It's not so high. I'll put it on the screen. But it's fantastic, it really is. around here just out of this wind. The ground's quite tough it is I say. Um, so looking for something as flat as possible with views. And we're not fussy though are we? I mean That's a nice view down to the water. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the view that I want. I don't want that wind though. Right, what do I think? Right, I'm 
looking with this pitch I'm looking for three or four things the first thing I want is I want the view of the water I also want to be sheltered I've got a view of the water here but there ain't much shelter that's for sure but the winds are supposed to be dropping so if I can get the tent pitched decently the tent will just have to deal with it and hopefully the winds will drop later I also want the, that view as well of the sunset tonight um, so I just hope I can get this tent pitched decently and it's not rattling like hell all night wind is and the fourth thing I want a phone signal if I can possibly get it and I've, I've got three of them here the wind is not great it's not the best for pitching it probably looks better on here than it actually is but it should be okay I think um, yeah it's, it's not great really but I think I'm going to try it I've got plenty of time what time is it 20 past 5 Sunset tonight about just before 8pm 8, 8 because the clocks went forward last night. Right, I'm going to have a try at this I think. So I'm back again. I'm lucky I had a lucky poor shade there. I was just uh, just checking the weather again and the wind... I took my rubs, I can put it there. The wind caught my rubs, it started rolling off that edge. I just caught it in time. Bloody hell. But uh, yeah, so I've looked at the weather again, it's changed again. And the, the latest forecast is for 20 mile an hour plus winds all night, 40 gusts. So I need to get this tent nailed down in those sort of winds, I can't. It's just too lumpy and I won't be able to get the guys out properly. So I'm going to have to sacrifice some of my wants. And I think, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice that view down there. I need to get a bit of shelter because it's supposed to be heavy rain tonight. And with a 40 mile an hour gusty wind behind it, it's going to be horrendous. So I want to get some shelter. I'm going to get some set view. I've just, uh, I've not had anything to eat or drink since I set off, but uh, I'm just having that now. Right. Got to go. Well, I'm pitched up. God, that took some pitching. God, it's not the best place to pitch really, especially in winds like this. But, um, so there we are, we're up. Um, I've got the guys in amongst the rocks there, split these, because some of them I can't, I can't get them in the ground because there's rocks underneath. That's a really good one, that. And this, this is the windy side. Um, split them there got these two wedged in the rocks there so it's looking pretty good all things considered and I've got sort of views <laughs> well it's great views this rock's just a bit in my way towards there I want to get this stuff inside the tent now just get out of the wind I'm sick of it <laughs> it's relentless it really is Right, let's get, uh, let's get this inside. So I'm pretty much settled in the tent now, but uh, it's probably windy, you can see. Um, measured the wind speed, pretty much constant 30, and then gusts on top of that. But, I mean, it's a great place to be there, I've seen, I saw a couple of people down at the water there, but since then I've seen no one. Look at that. tea tonight I'm gonna 
cook up the cook culinary delight for you. Wow. MS sandwiches and a bottle of wine. I'm looking forward to having that. It's it's not so warm. What temperature is it? It's just, uh, eight degrees. So once that sun goes down it's gonna be a lot colder. But um, I think tonight it's we're supposed to drop to about six, five or six tonight. I've just looked at the latest forecast. But then winds ain't uh, ain't relenting. So it's gonna be a noisy old night in the tent I'm sure. But we'll deal with it, eh? The skies are gorgeous. Look at those clouds. Look at those. That's one of those, is it lenticular, like a spaceship sort of cloud? Weird. Yeah. Bank holiday solitude, eh? Yeah. I've just posted on Instagram and everyone's saying stay away from the lakes, there's traffic everywhere, it's busy, it's horrible and <laughs> a few people have managed to find some quiet but uh, on the whole it's busy and to be expected isn't it, bank holiday but we're all out of beer. <laughs> right, I'm going to uh, start having something to eat, I've been quite hungry, catch you in a bit. Smoked salmon and cream cheese. now so I'm gonna put these long johns on and uh, just keeps you a bit warm on your legs and then I'll I've got another top to put on as well so I'll take this jacket on and put that top on yeah right I've um, I've had my sandwich now and uh, had a bit of a drink so what I normally do before it goes dark I, I tend to have a look around and sort of familiar familiarize myself with my surroundings just in case in the night I need to get out of here um, with it being really windy like this who knows it's just it's just a, an extra precaution just to familiar my familiarize myself with the area and think if I've got to get out of here which way I'm gonna go and head back so I'm gonna nip out the tent now and just have a look around and also I'm gonna check these guys the tent the tents had time to just settle now and as you could as you've seen it's it's bloody windy so um, as it moves around a bit, you may need to be attention to the guys. So I'm going to do that now as well. Let's uh, let's nip out there. Oh. Sun's starting to set. Yeah, it's all good that and if I'm gonna head back so my route is gonna be that way and then down there that's gonna be the quickest way back if I need to bail for any reason and then pick up the path there and just round by the side of that lump that the car is parked over there it's actually the, the route that I've taken because I wandered up there and was looking for a pitch it's actually been five miles the route that I've taken from the car. But uh, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with this. I mean, God, you, why wouldn't you be happy with these views? Ah. 
cold though now, it really is. That wind. Right, let's get back in the tent. Oh yeah, that's better. Enjoy it from in here. Just got out of the tent now for the sunset and look at that. There's the sunset in there, absolutely beautiful. It really is. The colours in the sky and the clouds, just amazing, look at that. And then across to the Scarf Hells. Wow, what a night! What a night! Look at those clouds. Something else, this it really is. Stunning. So it's just nine o'clock now and um, <laughs> it seems, seems to be getting windier. I've measured uh, constant 30, 40 gusts, um, but I've been out again and just really made sure that this tent's nailed down. I've split some of the guy, guys, sorry, I've got it comes. I've split some of the, guy, the guys at this windy side, which is there, and um, I've anchored them behind rocks. I've put some, some rocks on the guys as well. Because um, I just I don't want to be <laughs> I don't want to be getting out in the night. I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's as you can see, it's rocking and rolling for sure. I'm enjoying my wine though. I'm enjoying my wine, having some chocolate, and uh, all is good as long as the tent doesn't collapse or blow away. We'll be fine. Yeah, so I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing more to report tonight. I think I'll um, check out when I see you in the morning. See ya. in like hell. I mean the, the tent's bowing at the back. It's pitched fine. It's pitched really good. It's not gonna collapse, I'm sure it's not. It's, it's a, you know it's, it's a strong tent and it's pitched really well. But the, the back's bowing it in, it's the pressure of the wind's pushing against the back. It's noisy. No, I just no I just no it's not for me at all. Anyway. because it's too cloudy. It's clear out there. 
not sure yet. Oh god. Didn't get much sleep at all. It's been it's actually eased a bit I think now, but it's still windy. It's been rattling his tent around all night. Oh speed and it's I-20 is about 28. As I say it's nice and clear but there's some clouds coming over now with a bit of rain on the probably hear it on the tent. So I think I'm gonna Stick the kettle on. I'll have to find it first. I haven't even got it out yet. Any of that gear. Oh, oh it's there. <laughs> stick the kettle on. I brought some porridge. It's getting it with the rain there. That buggy might be heading towards us. Yeah, I think it is. So I'm gonna start packing my stuff up now. Just just pack up slowly and uh then start moving out. The tent's been fine, just noisy because the wind have been 40 on bus last night. Uh, as I said earlier, I got uh, see how I split these guys there. Rocks on that. Those are split as well. So it's been moving around a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, the weather doesn't really know what it's going to do. There's a lot of rain coming down over there though now. Right, let's get packed up I think. Right, that's everything packed away. Just got to take the tent down now. I know it's not literally freezing but my hands are frozen in this wind. And that rain's on its way now, I can feel it hitting me. What do I do? Do I get back in the tent and shelter for a bit and just get on with it? Maybe it's out there. It looks like a clear spot, but you just can't tell. Yeah, he's throwing it down there. It's bright over that way, you can see the clouds moving. You know what, I think I'm just going to get on with it. Because that could be heading this way and that's bad. <laughs> right, let's get on with checking this tent down. So it's quarter to eight now, all packed up. Leave no trace as always, nice and tidy. And there's been some bits and spots still coming through now, but so far I've managed to avoid the rain. Whether I'll do it for the rest of the route back remains to be seen, but uh, get the rucksack on now. Started it back. Just 
looking down to the ball south. I think you can see it down there. So that's where we're heading. And then that rock there, the car's parked just behind there. So it's keeping my eye on that rain, and hopefully it's not going to dump on us. Just looking up there to the crags where I was last night, up there. Well, now I'm back down to the water here, it's, uh, it's quite a bit sheltered down here, certainly nothing like it was up there, but it's beautiful, it really is, look at that. I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like I'm pitching my tent here for the night, but it's only 9 a.m. <laughs> well, that wind's picking up again. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, so head back towards the, uh, the bulb house there. I can hear some geese. I don't think you can pick it up on this with the wind as well, but uh, I can hear some geese in the water. Right, we'll keep going. So it's Easter Monday in the Lake District. Oh, I've just seen a tent. It's there. I was going to say, and I've got it all to myself. I pretty much have. There's a tent. Bet they had a, bet they had a quiet night than me down here. Kind of a goose there. Well that's it folks, nearly back at the car now, look at that, and I managed to dodge the rain, in the 10 minutes I should be back to the car, and uh, hopefully I'll still stay out of the rain and keep dry, but uh, yeah, just goes to show, bank holiday weekend, in the Lake District, if you're 
think outside the box avoid the big peaks the well-known peaks the popular peaks and the popular towns you can still get solitude in the lake district on a bank holiday so i hope you've enjoyed this one it's been a bit of a quieter one an easier one because my fitness is way off uh, this time last year i was uh, with every year up in the highlands doing the skirna keys round i think that's uh, there's no way i could do that now it absolutely kill me but uh like i always say do things when you can because you never know but uh hopefully i'll get that fitness back and uh be back up there somewhere before too long right get in the comments if you've got anything to say about my video i always like to hear you get from you guys and um I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya.